Okay, good evening everyone. Uh, this is just going to be a pretty quick video. I'll put out some more detailed stuff later. But I've uh, been doing some more work on my engine diagnostic interface and uh, as you can see in front of you, it's actually flushing away with some values on the screen. It's uh, currently showing zero for most things though, that's because the car's off. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to uh, start the car and see what happens to the values. Alright, so you can see we've got um, quite a few more interesting things than zeros. Uh, there's definitely still a few bugs in the system. You notice, for example, the RPM is currently reading as 44 and 75. Uh, my car definitely idles a little higher than that. But uh, there are some values that are working pretty well. We can see here we've got uh, the fuel trims. They're all sitting around the right values. Pretty sure the injector timing is about right. Unfortunately, the screen update is going a little bit slow at the moment. Um, the way I've implemented the program is I've used a lot of dynamic functions in order to draw the screen and I think I'm actually spending quite a bit of time updating the screen and you, you'll actually see if I just uh, if I just put my foot on the accelerator a little bit none of the values are really sort of changing as rapidly as they could definitely not as rapid as it was before so I've got to look at optimizing that a little bit but um, yeah let's just look at a couple of those we've got the uh, barometer 0 0.9 bar that sounds about accurate um, We've got uh, the idle speed step count, um, that certainly changes a little bit if I stick it into drive, you see the IC jump up to about 60, I'm pretty sure that's indicating it's trying a little bit harder to idle obviously. Another interesting one is uh, on this screen here, P slash N, now what that uh, means that the car is in park or neutral, so you can see at the moment it's zero, if I pop it back into neutral, it'll change back to 32, so um, that's basically just telling us the car is actually neutral or park, that'd be fantastic if I want to look at uh, doing some kind of remote start option, obviously I've got a... Um, a good way to check that the car is definitely in park or neutral. So yeah, that's my little demo. I'm going to leave it at that for now. You can see if uh, lots of values are logging now, pretty much everything. So that's why uh, it's flashing back and forth over two screens. It doesn't fit in the one screen. And I'll be looking on improving this, making it a little bit nicer, and I'll be sure to post up a more detailed video soon. If you want more details, head over to geekmyride.org. Click on the wiki and look up Trent's Magna. Plenty of details right there. Speak to you guys soon.